so in this part uh, we will create header and this is just the design is just for demonstration you can create any kind of header but my goal is to show you how to use or how to copy any design uh, based on your client choice or recommendation let's say your client like this header so how can you create this one using a spectra one theme and literally if you understand the spectra one or any block theme you can create any kind of website or any kind of design almost uh, following any standard design but for more advanced animation or advanced things you have to use uh, some kind of code or a little bit more advanced customizations now let's uh, start creating our header first to create our header I'm already inside our editor if you take a look at here uh, it's displaying a command and K that means the shortcut key command K uh, you can uh, search here and I'll be using uh, this one so much in this video because uh, by clicking uh, here and navigating here and there is a little bit time consuming for me so the shortcut is always uh, really helpful now let's go back again on in our editor just click and navigate to the header not this one I'm sorry header so as you can see I just landed into the header area if you just take a look at here uh, inside the templates you can see there are a couple of templates that has been created for you uh, if I just click on header there are eight different headers that you can use when you are using spectra theme or uh, spectra one theme basically you can use any of them but if you just take a look at here in our design none of them are uh, matches with our design so I'm um, instead using the pre-built header I have to create a new header there are two different ways you can create a new header by completely creating or click on the plus icon and create template part and you can choose the header from here but instead creating from here the good practice is to just replace the existing header because if i replace the existing header from the editor it will replace on every single items let's say for an example if i type single post you can see the single post is using header if i type page you can see the page is using header if i type search page or index page all of the page the blog archive are everywhere they are using header now if i just edit this existing header that is uh, already connected with all the template if i edit this existing header then it will update everywhere i do not have to use the new header on every single template because it will take some time to add the new header on every single template which is really not necessary but if you still want you can create multiple headers on your website but as of now i'm gonna create only one header just remove the existing one and start creating from scratch by following this design first of all let's export this logo from here finalize the logo here when whether i have selected the logo or not i just select the logo click on export and you can use png or svg format you can export in svg or png it doesn't matter it depends on your client requirements but for smaller images smaller icons it's a good practice to use svg format select svg click export logo now there will be one issue when you are using svg okay let's add container okay let's see first of all there are uh, two main uh, column and inside one column on the left side there are two column and that's it let's start so i just select uh, one column okay let's open the list view here so that you can understand the list view is very important to understand uh, where i'm navigating what i'm doing where i'm clicking this is really important remove the paragraph it's not necessary and 
Uh, one thing that by default when I select container you can see from the styles tab there is always padding so to make pixel perfect design it's not a good practice to use by default the padding the default padding so I'm gonna remove the default padding from the editor but before going back to the dashboard I'm gonna save this one here go back to the spectra settings and here you can see the editor options I'm going to remove the container padding from 10 pixel to 0 and now as you can see successfully saved go back to the header again and if I reload again so as you can see the padding is gone there is no padding none of the container has any padding here that's really really useful now let's take a look at the design again there are a logo let's take a logo first here which is site logo click over here and try to upload this one you'll be able to see an error you can see the SVG sorry you are not allowed to upload this type of file or this file type that means you cannot directly upload the SVG file inside your dashboard when you're using WordPress so how can you enable these features there is a plugin simple plugin which is I have to install from plugins add new plugins and type here SVZ support so the first one which is created by Ben Bodhi uh, I think I'm spelling it correctly click on install now and currently it's more than 1 million active installation click on activate and you are done you do not have to do anything after activating the SVZ support plugin close this one reload the header area close the header uh, pop-up and reload again click over here again add site logo upload drag the logo that you have downloaded and paste here so as you can see it's added nicely right you can add always the alternative text which is a good practice for SEO make sure uh, you discuss with your client uh, whether you have to work on SEO or basically we called on page SEO so uh, before taking any project make sure you discuss with your client to understand whether he want want you to add uh, alternative text keyword so I'm just added image here I'm not going to do it for all the images but I'm just sharing with you which is the best practice for you and your client now select here again and as you can see inside the container when I select container I can select plus and type here navigation take a look at the design first its service or process recipe about and contact us but we'll be creating our navigation based on our page as of now and by default it's currently displaying our default page here select here on the arrow icon click here again and drag you can click on edit now drag and drop it at the top and add another page called about us so you can create a draft page called about us or you can simply click here to create a custom URL so if I click on create draft page it will be drafted not published click draft page and it's displaying as draft and draft page will not uh, be visible here inside the menu item so what I'm going to do uh, I just add them then I'll be uh, publishing them later on so I just added the draft and select the navigation you can select from here or you can select from here to select the primary navigation here and select again services So you can adjust them by dragging and dropping from here or click on arrow icon. So I'm going to click on arrow icon. I'll share with you both of them. And for the about, just drag and drop it here. That's it. Very simple, right? Click on save changes and view the page. 
So you can see the header looks like this and the draft page is not visible here. In that situation, you have to navigate to the pages, click on all page. And the about us and the services are drafted, select here and click edit apply change the status to published and click update so what i'm doing here i just select both of the page together and make them published so that it's visible on the header area let's reload as you can see it's visible here now let's go back to the header again and reload the page Now if you take a look at our design, it's displaying side by side. So how can we make it side by side? Go to the header again, click on the list view and navigating to the container. So inside the container, I'll be taking another container here. Just click over here. Okay, I'm sorry. Sometimes you have to struggle by click uh, to click on the plus icon. Because I have removed all the padding here. I can simply drag the container and drop it here. And inside the container, I'm going to add another container. This is very, very important. Just take a look at here carefully. And what I'm going to do, the logo I'll be putting into the first container. And this one I'll be putting into the second container. And the, their parent container, I'm just navigating to the layouts, select the parent container and from the layouts, I have changed the direction to the flex, which is a row. And now the first container, I think without container, we can also do that, but let's try it again. But there will be a little bit issue when uh, you want to Okay, let's let me show you so that you can understand what what is the issue here so as you can see the issue is here you cannot adjust the width and height of the container of the item to item here and you cannot reduce the width of the logo you cannot uh, adjust the spacing both of them here if i select container again okay so you can select auto width when i select the auto width it adjusts a little bit and that's uh, pretty fine which is uh, almost looks like perfect so you can use auto width as well instead using the equal width when i use equal width it will be displaying the equal width side by side but the auto width will display based on the content that you have added here so when i select auto width and i would like to adjust the container width the parent container let's make it 70 and there is no change here because the second one I have to make it 30 and as you can see uh, when I select parent, uh, the second container here which is uh, the logo and menus area it's displaying at the center now I'd like to display from the left side and I can simply click on the layout and navigate to the justify content area select here to display from the left side and there is no gaps between them to add some gaps, I can simply select styles, spacing, add some column gaps from here. Take a look at the design. Now it looks like this. And select the parent container again, add some padding. So we removed all the padding, but note that uh, for mobile responsive, we'll be adding 20 pixel left and 20 pixel right. To do so, we have to add some padding here. So I just added 20 pixel top, left, right and bottom. I'll be adjusting the padding uh, later on. Select the container. So I'm taking a little bit time to explore and share each and every single details here. So that you can understand perfectly. I can uh, complete them really, really so fast. But as of now, just uh, see and watch. Uh, what can be done uh, using the spectra now let's uh, click on sign up this one copy the text from here okay now add another button copy the text from here 
we'll be working on global button later on but for the header it's not necessary to use global button because the header to button looks completely different so as of now i have to do it manually the sign up doesn't have any border but the book a call which have some border now let's click on sign up change the normal text color and remove the border none also the background should be transparent and you can see it looks like this and for the book a call go to the border the border radius should be a zero spacing i'd like to add 30 okay 20 top right 30 and the bottom 20 and left 30 pixel so i'm using here the tab from my keyboard and for top 16 pixel and bottom 16 pixel is perfect i would say let's change the text color and the background color should be transparent now it looks like this so we can make it more perfect and let's change the background color to light background i think this one no this is the background color here that you are, they are using click save changes go to the home page and reload the page so we have completed the header part i have taken additional time to explain each and every single part inside the header area but i hope it will be really helpful for all of you so that you can uh, i hope i believe in a future you can create any kind of header after completing this video in our next part i'll be making this header responsive thank you so much